He was born in one of the most advanced country in space science. He is young. He made the first space flight in 2020. He then worked as a flight engineer for the International Space Station. He spent 184 days, 23 hours and 10 minutes in space. Maybe he misses the Earth in his stay above the cloud. In 2010, at the age of 27, he was chosen and called a hero of his nation, Russia. Today's our guest is the Russian cosmonaut, astronaut, Sergei Kut Serchkov. Sergey, welcome to Ethiopia. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I'm glad uh, that you are my guest. Thank you very much again. My pleasure. Uh, before I go to my first question, I think it's your first time to be here in Ethiopia. Uh, how did you find or how did you, uh, what do you like the most in Ethiopia? I found uh, Addis Abeba very colorful, mm -hmm. and uh, the city of contrasts mm -hmm. and uh, it's not it's not hot this season mm. yeah, because uh, the city is situated on the in the mountains mm. and it's comfortable and uh, uh, I met Ethiopians for mm. the first time and uh, I see that people are friendly and you know it's it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, what kind of information do you have before you came to here in Ethiopia and what did you see? Uh, just general information from uh, the internet mm -hmm. about the population, about the uh, nature, uh, the main uh, sightseeing, sightseeing places. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, uh, that's uh, uh, La Libella, mm -hmm. but it's far from here. Yeah. I, 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 I'd like to visit one day this famous place. And of course, uh, I know that Ethiopian uh, mountains are, uh, are the highest in Africa, mm -hmm. so uh, that's that's interesting yeah. because uh, people around the world they uh, don't really know what uh, African continent is, and uh, from this uh, aspect, my uh, it's not my mission, but my goal is to tell people around the world about the how. Uh, wonderful Africa is. Mm. It's uh, nice to hear that. Uh, let me go to my first question. Uh, you have achieved many successes in your 20s um, in the field where you, did where you did a lot of work for your country. I mean, you have even received a title, uh, a hero of your nation, Russia. What is your secret for this achievement? Uh, the first uh, uh, secret uh, of uh, astronauts, uh, cosmonauts is uh, the uh, the passion for the work. But you, if you find the if you find uh, um, a, a business, if you find a profession that you love the most, mm. uh, you will be professional in this uh, area. And uh, uh, the most uh, interesting thing, most challenging, is to find the domain where you are happy, what, what you are happy to do. Mm. So uh, when I was young, uh, I did not dream to be an as a cosmonaut. Uh, but later, I decided that this profession is uh, the most interesting. It's dangerous, but I can realize uh, myself in this, in this profession. And uh, I started to work as hard as I could. And this is the key point. If you can do anything uh, for a, for achievement, your goal, you must do this. Mm -hmm. So this is like a concentration for the uh, runners. You are concentrating yeah. on the finish point, on the next point, and you run straight forward and do everything. You push all your forces on it: education, uh, reading, uh, training, and this is the secret of success. You don't let you think that you cannot achieve this goal. Let me take you three years back. Your first space flight was in 2020. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of feeling does it have to look Earth for the first time from space? What uh, was your uh, yeah. you know, uh, feeling at the, that time? The, uh, it's, um, it's a very complicated feeling because uh, on one hand uh, 
I've been training for 10 years to achieve this goal to uh, fly to work on board the space station. So mm. I knew what I uh, would uh, uh, would feel. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I saw the Earth for the first time, I couldn't even uh, speak. I couldn't even uh, make a noise because uh, Earth is the most beautiful, the most wonderful uh, thing I ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. the view of the world from the from the above and you you have been there uh, around uh, 185 days yes did you miss the earth uh, at that time how do you feel i mean it's uh, a new atmosphere for you to live for six months of course we left uh, almost everything on earth <gasps> and we live in a very limited space in on mm -hmm. the board space station very limited a uh, number of people. We were seven on board mm -hmm. for uh, six months, and of course, uh, we've been missing things like uh, um, conversation with uh, friends or families for uh, for the food. We're missing the food we're used to. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, just uh, we have no uh, uh, dairies. So no milk food on board because we don't ha don't have a fridge mm -hmm. on board. Only uh, preserved food, and we didn't have uh, any fresh meat. So I've missed uh, ice cream. I've missed uh, gr fresh grilled uh, meat, mm -hmm. and um, but thi this is this. Those are very tiny things. Are not significant. Yeah in compares, uh, comparison with the thing we do there. But how was life like in space? The first differences between life on Earth and life uh, in space is that a life on, uh, on board the space station is, uh, uh, mm, is running uh, really fast uh, because of uh, many things you should do. It's like a schedule. Every minute described, you have uh, list of things to do and you must do this exactly on time exactly at uh, expected time mm -hmm. and you do things from the first try mm -hmm. and this is the life for six months you don't have you don't have uh, a chance to fail uh, the second things is uh, the constant weightlessness things are floating and you don't don't have things float away mm -hmm. because you can lose anything in space and uh, the third thing is uh, uh, when you see outside, you have window and you see the earth. Every uh, day, every time you, you look at the window, the earth is difficult. It's not like Google Earth. All, all, all time is the same. It's not mm. the same. It's, it's difficult. Colors are changing. Uh, clouds are changing. Seasons are changing. So. It's beautiful, and um, I wish uh, every uh, person on Earth could see this view. And uh, protect the Earth. Yes, it yes, it because... It uh, open our eyes, right? Yes, because uh, especially I would like uh, the leaders of countries mm. could see the Earth from, uh, from outer space, because uh, when you look at the Earth, you see no borders. You see no borders, you see no, uh, almost nothing that uh, connected with people. It's just the, the single planet. Mm. And when you look outside, you see endless space. It's uh, endless emptiness. In this emptiness, there's a blue marble uh, ball, mm. this earth. And you just wondering how did this ball appeared in this endless blackness mm. and of course i would say i would i would like everybody could get these thoughts in uh, in his mind and think a second about it that we live on the in the world that is the only one for all of us mm. what do astronauts do on uh, ISS, iss you know uh, international space uh, station and what was your role uh, the main goal of I International Space Station is uh, making science. Mm. Uh, every 
uh, every day is scheduled and we do a lot of experiments, experiments with uh, uh, the human body, medical experiments, experiments with uh, little microorganisms, biological experiments, experiments with different um, materials, liquids. Uh, we even can uh, uh, mm, fire some materials mm -hmm. in very special uh, um, uh, equipment mm -hmm. inside the space station. So the main goal is to, to do to provide experience that we cannot provide on Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in developing country, space science technology is, um, or field is mm. a luxurious field. Uh, but how useful is the sector for Africa, especially for Ethiopia? The we use we use uh, space technologies every day. Mm -hmm. We use uh, navigation systems. We use uh, uh, space observation data, and uh, for. Uh, for for Africa, it could be really important because uh, uh, it can uh, help develop the country. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, for example, space observation data can say what area uh, needs need water, what area is over flooded, mm -hmm. uh, where to to predict where the uh, what the best place to grow, um, whatever. Mm. Know, the grow fruits on cereals and uh, pollution, air pollution, water pollution, uh, temp monitoring temperatures, predicting weather forecast. All the things are possible uh, to do with space technologies. And uh, another thing is education, because uh, the more educated people is in the country, the uh, the higher the um, opportunities, possibilities uh, for this country to grow. Because space technologies, uh, it's not, uh, it's not um, only about the space station or being cosmonaut, it's about way of thinking. So as a Russian cosmonaut, what can we learn from Russia? You know, Ethiopia has uh, a lot of young people that, had, uh, that have a uh, uh, very um, very uh, high potential uh, and uh, education is the key for developing the, the country and uh, education for example in uh, Russian uh, universities is the, uh, the point where we can contact and uh, te te space technologies that we can provide and uh, moreover uh, we, uh, you know, from the history, the space didn't space technologies didn't appear just as a magic. Uh, the space program of Russia and the success of Russia grown from the educated people, from dreamers. I believe there are a lot of dreamers in Ethiopia. Just gave them the tools, gave them uh, knowledge, and you'll see your country will. Uh, will be developing really fast. So this is the key point that you can get from Russia and to collaborate in the, uh, in the matter of education, the matter of space technologies. This is why we here. Countries, they gave up because they have decided that it's uh, too complicated or too expensive. Mm. But other countries just follow their uh, dreams and spend as they uh, you know, pull all the all efforts, made the all efforts they could to reach the space, and then we see uh, leaders in space industry now. So the earlier we you start going forward, the higher you get. So now uh, the uh, partnership with uh, leaders could make your uh, country advanced in comparison with others. Mm -hmm. So learn from the most experienced ones and then create your own mm -hmm. industry. And how can you help Ethiopia and Ethiopians uh, uh, for such initiative? Probably to uh, impassionate people for space exploring, but also to tell that Russia can provide some services uh, and partnership in education and uh, uh, providing new technologies uh, for 
uh, developing the country services mm -hmm. because uh, we uh, again we use uh, space services everywhere transportation agriculture uh, and more many many others so my uh, goal is to tell people what we can do what we can help you to do what we can do for you mm -hmm. My last question, uh, you told me earlier that when you were on space for six months, uh, you solved the borderless yeah. uh, world, the planet. I mean, on the ground, we see today that uh, many tensions are there. What is your message for the world? Uh, the mes message is that when you look at the Earth, you see no borders. And we, uh, the International Space Station is the project where uh, 14 countries are participating. Mm -hmm. And we work together in the international team as one with uh, US astronauts, Japanese, European, uh, many Canadian, many others. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we work as one and uh, do the same. And we uh, speak on the same language. So the, my message is that uh, we can do the same on Earth. So uh, every uh, tension uh, is temporary because we can go through this and we should do it, this on Earth. Mm -hmm. This is the thing that can learn from spaceflight because together we are uh, stronger and m can do m uh, many things better. I have finished my question. Uh, thank you very much for sharing your experience and thank you for your time. Sorry. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much.